Here it is, in the distance, an open state carriage drawn by the Windsor Greys. And inside, the king and queen. As they pass the stands over there, the people rise, wave their handkerchiefs, their newspapers, cheer. The troops lining the street present arms. Now, even if you're thousands of miles away, imagine yourselves here at Temple Bar as the king and queen arrive. The streets shall speak for themselves, and I'm quite sure in your hearts you will echo their cheers, and that I can say for all of you, long live the king and queen. Listen. bareheaded beside the royal carriage, bows and presents the city sword to the king with its point downward. The king touches a hilt and returns it. The ceremony is over. The Lord Mayor and his party return to their carriages. The king in the uniform of a field marshal and the queen looking particularly lovely in silver and white are smiling, obviously pleased at the warmth of their welcome. My voice is coming to you from the west portico of St. Paul's, about 60 feet above the main entrance to the cathedral. When you hear the first notes of God Save the King, you will know that their majesties are about 200 yards from the cathedral. As you hear a fanfare, blown by the trumpeters of the lifeguards, the king and queen will be proceeding up the steps to the west door. Looking westwards from here, I see down Ludgate Hill, down an avenue of troops behind which the people are massed and packed in prodigious numbers. They are clustered on the tops of houses. Every window is crammed. One has an, an extraordinary impression that the fronts of the beflagged houses are bulging and bending outwards under a sort of inward pressure. And all eyes are gazing down the hill to catch the first glimpse of their majesty's procession. Hello, I see the, I see the glint of the lifeguards in the distance. Their majesties are approaching Ludgate Circus. You shall hear for yourselves the greeting they are receiving from the voice of London. I'll switch you over to the microphone a quarter of a mile away. You are now back at St. Paul's. The famous Windsor Greys are now breasting the hill and their majesty's procession is coming towards us in a truly spectacular and royal manner with a carriage guarded in front and behind by a sovereign's escort of the lifeguards. The flashing swords, the, the waving plumes, the breastplates, these magnificent horses, the postillions, they make a splendid picture. The excitement is terrific. On they come as if they're being borne forward on the wave crest of a mighty chair. It's, it's one continuous roar. For once in a way, the British are really letting themselves go. I've, I've never heard or seen anything like it in my life. Hats are waving, and thousands of handkerchiefs fluttering, and the excitement is almost indescribable. But you must be able to hear the cheers yourself. The great moment has arrived. Here are the king and the queen. 